Hello everyone, I'm Doug Webster, Director of Public Relations for the California Maritime Academy. And today aboard the training ship Golden Bear as she continues her 2008 training cruise, heading back to Hawaii on the first leg of two summer cruises, we're going to tell you about the ship's fast rescue boat. Come on along. Okay, what you're looking at here is one of our two fast rescue boats. Uh, this, this vessel here is a rib of rib construction, has a uh, metal hull with foam insulation around the edge. Um, this boat here has twin uh, 60 horsepower outboard engine, a center console with, with the steering and throttle controls, and then a forward bench seat. Well, we start the process off with a cadet uh, person in charge, or they call it the CPIC. There's also an officer uh, person in charge, a crane operator, and a, a man, a couple of people on the uh, tag lines, bow and stern. We proceed by picking the fast rescue boat vertically straight up with, like I said, one person on the bow tending a tag line, one person on the uh, uh, stern tending the uh, line. The crane operator lifts the boat and then we bring her down to where we can deploy our uh, crew on board. Usually you have the, uh, an officer in the boat and two cadets. He gives the uh, signals to the uh, cadet person in charge on deck. It starts by whipping down, which is the motion, finger down. They whip the, the, the boat, I would say, within five feet of the water line. And then the boat operator gives the person on deck the signal of boom down. Once the vessel is boomed down into the water, they release with your uh, releasing point, they release the, uh, the boat, then the boat is free on its sea painter. Sea painter is used to, to hold the boat into position um, while they're trying to get the, the uh, engine started and getting the vessel under its own power. They release the painter and they head off to the victim or whoever we're trying to pick up. When the uh, rescue boat comes back alongside, first thing they do is they run up towards the uh, shoulder of the ship and grab the sea painter. The sea painter's length will then uh, let the boat ride back onto the painter. And when the painter's tight, we'll be in position to re-pick the boat up with the crane. Well, you want to make sure that you don't have your, your um, headache ball, which is the actual ball, weighted ball that has the hook on it. You want to make sure its distance off the water isn't too great. Otherwise, when they hook the uh, uh, ball up and they drop into the swell, they'll actually lift the vessel up out of the uh, uh, water and could knock the personnel in the boat out of the water. So you have to make sure that the headache ball is within, I would say, three feet of the surface that they reconnect and then once the, the uh, ball is reconnected then they immediately have to whip up on with the uh, crane and the boat operators now once again giving the signals to the cadet in charge on deck who is giving the hand signals to the crane operator and they raise the boat up to the embarkation deck. From the time we get the uh, signal, man overboard signal, to the time that we have the boat deployed uh, within five minutes is, is a good time.